Hi there, my name is Brett Murray. I'm with the Technology Insight and Promotions team here in Palo Alto, California. We're part of the office of the Chief Technology Officer with Nokia. I'm here to talk to you about indoor positioning. Uh, indoor positioning is all about your relative position within larger structures, um, basically buildings, possibly urban cores, um, so that you can know where you are uh, within a larger construct, such as an office, a shopping mall, a stadium, a museum, that sort of thing. Uh, we have GPS that will guide us around in outdoor environments, but within indoor environments, we're relatively limited. Um, you tend to navigate off of landmarks, off of maps, that sort of thing. Um, when suddenly you're intelligent enough through your mobile device to know where you are within a structure, um, it really enables a whole set of services that can add some very interesting end value to, to customers um, and end consumers. So what, what does this mean to the man on the street? Uh, it could be very, very simple. It could mean that while you're sitting at work, um, when something arrives at your house in the form of a visitor or in the form of a package from DHL, you, you are notified and you know that, that something has moved kind of into your environs. Um, it could be more complex in the sense that your phone knows where you are within your office building and it's looking at your calendar and it knows that you are supposed to be in a meeting and sees you inside there and also sees that you are surrounded by five or six other attendees. Um, and therefore your phone's smart enough to change state. It moves from a ringing state into a silent state or a meeting state. Uh, it can get more complex than that in the form of your, your phone knows that you're supposed to be in a meeting, um, but you're still sitting in your office. And, and you know within larger office buildings, sometimes it's tough to get meeting space. So it can ask you if the meeting is still taking place and if you would like to free up the meeting room as a resource so other people can use it. Um, now, when you get into other sort of environments like stadiums, um, naturally, you know, you can be surrounded by tens of thousands of other people, and it, it's a great thing to be able to know, for example, if gate number one is where everybody's coming in and getting their tickets processed and entering, um, but gate number five is, is virtually clear and you can sail right into the stadium. And of course, it's also very useful uh, during halftime when you're looking for a bathroom that isn't swamped with people. So. Those are kind of the, the general usages. You can also start to envision things around museums, around shopping malls, obviously targeted advertising is part of this, which could be highly, highly relevant to who you are and what you're doing, as opposed to invasive advertising. But all of these are kind of opt-in systems. Uh, Nokia has a concept called privacy by design, and as a result, uh, really you have control over who can contact you and when, and you're never just submitted to the system uh, without being asked. For me, I think what's really interesting about indoor positioning and kind of exciting about it is this is, you know, on one hand, it's a very simple utility. On the other hand, it you can imagine these kind of social extensions to it um, that plug into places like Facebook and things like that. And I think this is a great example of, of communications networks and um, kind of a critical mass of computing power and really well evolved systems and services that could come together to really be empowering for people. You know, over the past 20, 30 years, there's been this sense, you know, of email replacing the handwritten letter, of ATMs replacing personalized teller service within banks, and other things about technology that are very distancing. Um, I think that what this could potentially do is by letting people know where they are in relation to each other, in relation to their environment, could help to bring them together in, in new and exciting ways, and help them socialize in new and exciting ways. And that's really nice to see that, that again, these sort of critical mass of technology is coming together to make things better as opposed to, and more personal as opposed to less. Thank you very much.